I want to start making a few videos on the topic of sciatica because I know it's very common in people, especially people who have a job sitting at a desk typically. I'm going to break them down into a bunch of little videos with um, little helpful tips. So essentially today I want to touch on what sciatica is and how you can begin to try to decrease some of the symptoms. So in short, sciatica is an irritation and an inflammation of the sciatic nerve. Um, the sciatic nerve is actually the longest nerve in the body and it goes through your spine, down through your buttocks and into your legs. So a lot of the times when people describe their pain, it is referred to as a sharp searing pain through one of their legs. And they can also, they can also um, feel some numbness and tingling and pain in typically one side of, of their legs. Hi, Maisha. So typically you're going to have pressure on your lumbar nerve root between the spine levels of L4 and S1. So typically when we have any pain on our body, we like to manage the symptoms. So we grab the heat packs, we do the hot baths, we do the Advil, whatever helps us get through the day. And a lot of the times sitting eight hours a day for people can actually be very painful. It just looks like I'm petting my leg, but I swear she's like right here. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't wanna let you go. Okay, you can stay here, but like you gotta behave. What I'm gonna talk about today is essentially posture. So I'm talking about improving posture so that you can improve the way you sit and hopefully you can actually minimize your sciatica just through um, the way you're sitting throughout the whole day at work. So a lot of times we have a forward head posture because obviously our head has some weight to it. So it's going to pull our head forward, causing our shoulders to come forward and our spine to begin to curve, which can be actually causing some pressure in that lower back area, which is causing your sciatic pain. So the way we're going to try to prevent this is obviously from try to be very conscious about our posture. Um, it's very easy to say that though. It's very easy to say like, okay, sit up tall, but I know I try to do that sitting at a desk and I do that for about a minute and then slowly you, you forget about it and it starts to curve again. So one of the best things to do is to make sure that everything in your office is eye level friendly. If your computer is too low, try to set it up on some textbooks so it's more eye level. If you're reading a textbook, especially if you're reading a textbook for hours, your neck is going to be cranked looking down. So try to lean it up against the wall or invest in a book stand. And one of the cues I give myself while sitting at a desk or even driving, I practice chin tucks. So if you don't know what a chin tuck is, it's essentially giving yourself a double chin. So you're trying to tuck in your chin and hold it for a second. So practicing chin tucks, and even if you're laying down in bed, practicing chin tucks into a pillow, that can actually help strengthen the back of the neck, bringing your head more upright. But my favorite trick is with a towel. So obviously a towel can be pretty inexpensive. You probably have it you are going to fold it up like this. You don't need a massive one. You're gonna roll it up. You can put a string around it or tape it and you are going to place it, hope you can see this. You are gonna place it right in your mid to lower back. So as soon as you do this, you should instantly feel like you don't have to force a good posture. This is actually causing you to sit more upright. My shoulders feel more in place and my head feels like it's in more of a proper position. Whereas if I take this away, I instantly feel my spine begin to curve, which makes my whole spine curve up to my neck and then my neck goes forward. So if there's anything I would recommend, it is the towel trick, roll it up behind your back. Instantly, you should feel like you have a better seated posture. Maybe sitting down is the cause of your sciatica, hopefully, this trick will help to try to reduce some of those symptoms. Um, but if that doesn't work, regardless, it's going to be healthy for your back to be practicing that good seated posture. So hopefully that helps and stay tuned for more sciatica videos. I will try to go over exercises and stretches in my next one.